Um, I am just here to show you guys how to fit your muzzle once you get it at home. Um, it's pretty easy, but a lot of people have issues with it um, because there are a couple of screws that you might need to take out and put back in. Um, so the first thing that I recommend once you get your muzzle home, um, making sure that it fits your dog, but I want you to take the screw or the, the Chicago screw out of the side. Um, and you can use a screwdriver or it, they're probably just finger tight. So that, so we're disconnecting the strap from this and we'll do the same on the other side. off the side strap so you've disconnected your collar. I'm calling this the collar, the part that clips behind the dog's ears. Um, so you've disconnected that from the front of the muzzle except for where it, it creates an X down here at the bottom and it just comes together. Okay, so the next step that you need to do is disconnect one side of your collar. Hi. So now we can we can move and remove this side of the clip. All right. So then you're gonna thank your trusty old dog, and you're gonna put it over their nose and adjust the collar. No, if I got the right strap, so that it fits. So you're gonna snap it. I got it twisted. You're gonna snap it and make sure that it's as snug as you want. Right now, it's not connected to the side, so she could pull it off her nose. So I'm just gonna pinch it where I want to hold it here for her collar, nice and high and tight right behind her ears. And I'm going to and take the rivet, and we're gonna put it right back in. Hey, Kieran, I'm gonna need that screwdriver. Now we've attached the half of the clip that we took off so that we could adjust the collar so it fits appropriately snugly. Um, now we need to attach the cheek straps so that the end of the muzzle doesn't come off their noses. Um, if you have a forehead strap, this will be an extra insurance that it doesn't come off their noses as well, um, especially for those, those short nosed dogs. We're gonna go on the nose, clip it on. That's gonna stay nice and high and tight. And then we're gonna take the side straps and we are going to lay the holes on the cheek strap over the holes on the collar strap. And I'm gonna say one, two up and four back. And on this side, it might be different side to side. So I'm gonna say three up and we want this nose strap to be out of their eyes enough so that it's not getting in their face um, but we don't want it pulling it back into their their nose either um, and we don't obviously want it so loose that it just comes off I know I know you're very patient there you go I know. So yeah, so do the color first and then the side straps. Make sure it's not rubbing the end of their nose and it's not up into their eyes. Um, you guys have the ability to adjust this as they kind of wear it and kind of wear it in. Um, girl. 
Um, but once you find that those spots that work for you, there is a little single use packet of super glue um, and you can secure those um, Chicago screws into place so that they're not falling out as your dogs are running and playing and having a grand old time. All right, thanks for watching. Karen. Karen. Karen.